King Hezekiah was in many ways one of the good kings in Israel. He did what was right in the eyes of the Lord. He prayed and the Assyrians retreated. He prayed and he got better from a terminal illness. But the rather disappointing thing at the end of his life happens when he's told by God the Babylonians are going to come, they're going to overrun the city of Jerusalem and they're going to carry off all of the treasures and imprison his descendants. And the shocking response from Hezekiah is that he seems hardly troubled by this devastating news about his descendants, about his nation, and he seems rather more preoccupied and relieved that there will be peace and security in his lifetime. We read about that in 2 Kings 20. We can roll our eyes at Hezekiah, but aren't we sometimes the same? When you listen to news about deaths by COVID-19, the coronavirus, we, we want to know the circumstances and we want to know because we want to recalibrate our fear based on whether we're likely to be affected. You hear of deaths and you want to be reassured that the reason they died was because they were old or had pre-existing conditions. And if you're young, female, perhaps not from the BME community, you're rather relieved that the most likely, the worst effects of the virus won't happen to you. Of course, though, it works the other way around too. If we're from the more statistically vulnerable group, we, we feel that perhaps we're more at risk and our fear increases with every death. But of course, either way, this is ultimately selfish. Our thoughts, as we see these statistics, should be not so much, how does this affect me, but it should be compassion for those who have died and for their relatives and friends around them. Not just thinking about ourselves, but thinking about others and learning the bigger lesson, which is to admit the frailty of life. So it's selfish, but of course also it's foolish. Only God determines the day of our birth and the day of our death. We can't trust the statistics or the precautions we take, wise though they might be. Only God determines life and death. And our sense of well-being shouldn't be based on whether this virus or any other disease is more or less likely to affect us severely. Rather, we trust that God is good and that God is in charge and we place our trust in him. And in the meantime, we love God, we love our neighbours through these troubled times.